This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. How's it going everyone? In the previous two videos, we talked about the at class method decorator and the at static method decorator. But now we have one left, which is the at abstract method decorator, which we're going to have to import because this decorator is used for abstract classes. And abstract classes can just be considered blueprints for other classes. So to show you how it works, we're very quickly going to import from ABC, ABC, and the abstract method. Then in this example, we're going to create a class called animal. And this actually needs to inherit from ABC, or we need to make this an abstract class. And what's important about this is that this class cannot be instantiated directly. It can only be used as a blueprint for subclasses. So one thing we're going to want in our blueprint is a name. All animals should have a name. And we're going to assign that to the instance. So self.name is going to equal that name. Then something else we want each animal to have is a sound and a move. So here we're going to create an abstract method, which is called sound. And there's no implementation in here. This is a placeholder. You can also define what it returns if you want, since this is just going to be a print statement, I'm going to specify that it returns none. But if one of your methods should return a string, then you should enter whatever data type it returns. But what's important to note is that there's no implementation here. We're just creating the blueprint. We're telling the developer or whoever is using this class that they need to implement this for their class to work. And then we'll also create one more and this will be move, which also returns none and an ellipses as a placeholder. In other cases, if you're not using an abstract method, you would probably raise a not implemented error, but I'll show you why that's not necessary when we are using abstract classes. So next let's inherit from this animal. Let's create a new class called cat which inherits from animal. And the first thing we're going to do is create this initializer so that we can hover over it and implement the super class call. So it's going to end up looking like this. And that's just going to make sure that we instantiate the class with the correct name. But something else that you will notice is that your code editor will still complain that the class of cat must implement all of the abstract methods. So let's do that. Let's type in def sound and here we can print meow. And then let's create that move. So def move and print paw, 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 paw. You know, when a cat is walking, you hear their paws. And with that being done, we've implemented everything that was required from our abstract class, which means we can now create an instance and the cat's going to be called snowball and use these methods. So cat.move and cat.sound so that the next time we run this, we should get those outputs from our class. And again, all that abstract method decorator did is make sure that any animal that's inheriting from the animal class actually uses this method. It's forcing them to implement the details. And that just means that if we were to remove one of these necessary methods and we were to rerun the script, we would get a type error that we cannot instantiate an abstract class without implementing that abstract method. So it's actually a requirement. And that's why, as I mentioned before, it's not necessary to raise a not implemented error in the abstract class. It does it already for us. So yeah, that's essentially what you use at abstract method for. If you have any more comments or questions regarding this decorator, do leave it in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.